Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure Zabbix on uh, EVNG. So uh, let's start. So first thing you need to do is uh, basically download the template for Zabbix because if you go and open your note and you put Zabbix, you can see there's now no template for Zabbix. So you need to go to GitLab and download uh, you know, your template. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description below where you can download it from so depends of if you're using intel processor or md you need to choose the one that is for your situation so i have amd and going to zavex click on it and you can click here to to download it i already have it downloaded so i'm not going to download it again but you can click here to download it once you downloaded this also you can go and click the icon as well you click here icon scroll the way down and you can see zavex as well same thing you can click here and download it once you download download it you can go to zavex.com download appliance and you should download it that version kvm qme Click here and download it to your PC. Once you've done all this, you should go to your uh, SSH, to your EVE, basically, and uh, you need to go to CD op unit lab, HTML templates, and obviously depends if you have AMD, as I say, or Intel, you can choose the one the right folder for you uh, and come here and basically you need to upload the way i'm gonna do it i'm gonna use uh win cp uh so you can see i have my zavix uh icon and my template plus my zavix file that i know downloaded from zavix uh, website so you can click on option HTML and go to templates MD and just put it here then go to images icons and put icons as well so make sure it's here yep and <clears throat> the last one you need to do is you also need to create uh before that you can fix the permission for a template so once you're in the folder click the permissions and also for the icons Next one you need to do, you need to create a folder for the Zavex. So I'm using version 626, so that's what I'm gonna create, you know, make dear as the path creating your um, folder for Zavex. So if I go now, I should have that folder created here. So you need to go add-ons, me and should be Zabbix created yep you can see it here and just upload the image there once you have the image uploaded you can go back to CLI and go to the folder you just created you have the file here so you have to unzip the file basically do star Except F, and we can copy the image. Let's have a look. So we have it here. So the next thing we need to do is uh, you can CD to that basically, you see it to that folder here, and you can see you have that 
uh, file. So we, you need to rename that file. Uh, so what are you going to do? We're going to do MV moving, you know, so basically this. If you check now, you can see it's not here. If you go back once, so this is your file that you move out to the this folder. So now you can delete both of them. They're not needed anymore. So you can do rm dash r and you can copy copy and paste this. Just double check. Yep, so that's the only one left. And the last thing we need to do is fix the permitting. Okay, so that should be it. So if you go to our topology, you go to not Zabbix, you can see Zabbix is here. You can choose Telnet, save, connect it to my management network, and start it. Okay, so we have two options, uh, two different passwords. So when you're using CLI, your username will be root and the password will be Zavex. Um, when you're doing the GUI, the username will be admin with capital A and the password will be Zavex again. So if you log in, root. You can see my IP address. this okay it should be http port 80 and you can see it's working so now you can see everything installed and ready for you guys to set up your devices and monitor uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. It was helpful. If you have any question, please ask me in the question section and please like and subscribe. Thank you.